Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be diving into some returned prom dresses. Chip is excited about that. Something that I find kind of funny is if you've seen The Office, when Pam like sends a call into Michael Scott, she always like fake sends it in because he's gonna say something ridiculous. And she says she always thinks he does better the second time around. That is literally exactly how I am with intros. Like take a look at my first intro. In this video, we cannot stay away from returns. We cannot stay away. I'm officially addicted to buying return boxes. <laughs> and then my second try was a lot less strange. Actually, what am I getting into? What am I getting into right now? This has nothing to do with the video. Anyway, okay, let's get back to it. Today, I am so ridiculously excited because we bought another, <laughs> another return box. Yes, I'm addicted. No, I won't stop unless you guys really stop enjoying watching them. But for now, it seems like we're both like mutually interested in returned items. So let's just keep this rolling. There was a point on my channel where I did so many prom dress videos. So when I saw this returned prom dress box, I was like, when worlds collide, we need to do it. Only one problem though, every time I find returned prom dresses that I wanna buy, they don't ship to Canada. I don't know why shipping to Canada is so difficult for the States, but we found a way to work around it because my friend Miriam in California, I'm sorry, my shirt is so tight. <laughs> can like hardly think, but doesn't it look cute? I love it. So I asked my friend Miriam in California if I could send the return box to her and then she could send it to me. And she was like, sure, yeah, no big deal. It actually was a little bit of a big deal. I didn't realize how big the box was gonna be, but she did it and I'm super thankful and she didn't even complain. So that's amazing, thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Now these returns, unlike the last two videos of returns that I've done, this was a bidding auction type deal. So I was like bidding against people for these. I must admit the people I was bidding against were not super like excited or vigorous to get this box. So it really wasn't that hard to win, but I ended up getting it for $400 US. I'll put on the screen right now. This is the ad that I was looking at when it was still live. So high-end designer cocktail prom, David's bridal, Jessica McClin talk. They showed a few in the photos, but I tried not to look because I wanted to be shocked and surprised by the items. Apparently there are 25 dresses in here. Oh my gosh. I think we're gonna be trying on 25 dresses today. So we're gonna have to get quick. We also don't really know what the sizes are. I probably could have figured out if I checked the manifest, but I didn't wanna look at it because then I was gonna see what was in it and I wanted to be surprised. So I don't know what sizes these are. I don't know what they're gonna look like. And I don't actually know if these are returned or if they're like overstock or if they were the sample sizes in the boutiques. It could be any of them or a mix of them. I actually ended up buying this when I had woken up in Hawaii, I like saw it. So they do it. Well, that was really easy. They made that a little bit too easy for myself. I didn't even have to purchase, like com confirm anything. Okay, well, I did that. The shipping from liquidation.com to Miriam was like so fast. It got there in like a couple days. And then from Miriam to me, it was a little bit longer and there was a little debacle where it got lost, but we found it. So, we're gonna get into it now. Let me grab it. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because I was like, oh my gosh, Mira, my hope it wasn't too big. And she was like, oh my gosh, no, it was no big deal. And now looking at it, I'm like, this is kind of big, you know? <laughs> okay, let's dive into it. That did nothing. I'm so excited. I love trying on dresses. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's look. <gasps> Packaged nicely. Oh my. Oh yeah, there's definitely 25 items. I thought there was one dress in a bag. No, there's quite a few. Probably one, two, three, four, maybe five in this one bag. Quite a few bags. Oh my. <laughs> this one looks nice. Okay, let's dive in one at a time. Mm. Okay, also, I just wanna see. So there is 25 dresses. So 400 divided by 25. 
$16 a dress. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep that in mind because I don't think we've ever tried any prom or graduation or high-end dress that was $16. And we've tried some pretty affordable dresses, so this is pretty crazy. I'm gonna rip into this first bag. I don't know what we're gonna get here, okay? I see a navy. Oh my. Ooh. First of all, it all smells very yummy. I don't know if that matters, but it does. This is nice! Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know what I was expecting. This almost looks a little bit like early 2000s vintage, which maybe it could be. I don't know how I would be able to tell. Mari Lee, interesting. Inside, we have a built-in corset. It's a strapless dress that's a tie-up on the back. And it goes into, um, I would say it's like an A-line with a little bit of a train. This is so cute. This is nice. If you guys watch my videos, you probably know that I had built up quite a collection of dresses. And just like seven months ago or so, I donated just under a hundred dresses to a bunch of charities that was accepting dresses to give to people who were graduating or celebrating something and couldn't afford a gown. And so it was really, really nice. So I'm going to just donate these dresses as well. Maybe if we see one that we really like, I'll keep it and try and revamp it or something. Usually when I do video, I'll keep like a few and then I'll donate the rest. And then eventually I get to donating all of them because it turns out I don't need evening gowns because I don't do anything. But it's always fun to keep a few, you know? But okay, here is this, let's put it on. Oh, okay. This looks really good on, I feel like. I can definitely tell by the look of it, it's sort of a 2010 vibe, but I'm eating it up. I like it. You may also notice this little stool that's falling apart. I brought this, because I thought you guys might like to see how the dress, ah, oh my gosh, how it falls. Look at this moment. Also, I got my mom's help doing it up, but it was still too big, so I just used a few clips. But the back is really pretty too. Look at that, $16. I will get down now. I really like this one. I like the color, I like the detailing, and I don't see any signs of wear. It's not like all dirty, so I like this. It's gorgeous. This is so fun. Okay, I see a black dress. Ooh, it's a different type of fabric. It almost feels like crepe, crepe fabric. Oh, look at this. Based on this tag, this definitely looks like it's vintage. Even just these buttons, look at the insides. That is so cool. It's like a T length and it's got a one shoulder. It's black and very sleek, very different than the other one. A little bit more of a classic dress. Okay. Oh. This really feels like a dress my mom had and she used to whip it out for Christmas parties and I was always like, you look beautiful, you look magical, you look amazing, mom. And this dress gives me that vibe, which by the way, that was probably 12 years ago. So that's sort of where I'm dating this dress to. It looks very tubular, but I think that's sort of the style. I could cinch it but I honestly think it was supposed to be more flat like that. If you really wanted, you could belt it. That would look cute, but I like it. It's really effortless and quite elegant. I do get the vibe from this one that I could have found something similar at like the thrift store for a similar price. It's still really beautiful. And if I saw it at the thrift store, I would have been just as excited about it. Red. Ooh, this is a nice fabric. I wish I knew fabrics better because then I could tell you what it was, but this is very like, sleek, thick, satiny vibe. That's what I gotta say. Here is the neckline, and then it's got a little bit of a belt built in. This one, does this go all the way to the floor? Maybe just, just hits the floor. This is from David's Bridal, and it's a size 10, so it's gonna be too big for me, but I'll pin it on. But that's actually really amazing, because when I was donating my dresses originally, I was sort of bummed because they were all one size, they were my size. So this will be great to donate because there's a bunch of different sizes for a bunch of different people. We'll put it on. Here we are in this red dress. We have it in the back holding quite a bit of fabric. That's gonna be a theme throughout this. It's no big deal. That's probably why too the boob area looks bigger on me because first of all, 
I don't have boobs. And secondly, this is like a size 10. Let's look at the bottom. This one goes just to the floor. Very straight, very elegant. Feels almost like bridesmaid dress vibe to me. I think it's pretty actually, sort of like an old Hollywood look. Oh my gosh, I'm holding my dress, even though it doesn't fly at all. Yeah, I think this one's really pretty and it's in great condition. We kind of have to go through the dresses quickly because there are just so many. Plus, I think we're more excited to see them on than just being held in a lump. What is this one? Ooh, oh my gosh, this one's really pretty. This reminds me of that dress that Hailey Bieber wore. Oh wait, we have a dilemma. This might be a good revamp one because it's got a big stain on it. It's nice though, the fabric feels really, really luxurious. If I had to guess, this is probably a sample piece because it's got lots of makeup on the inside, probably from a lot of people trying it on. So maybe it was a store sample. It's a nice fabric. Oh my gosh, look how dirty the bottom is. This has been the first one that's kind of messy. It needs a dry clean. I did not realize that this was a high-low moment when I was looking at it. It goes high, then low. ba da 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 ba ba Oh my gosh, I almost fell. I wonder if I could get that out because this would be a great one to donate. This fabric is so luxurious. Look how it moves. Look at my dance moves. <laughs> I just wish, like, what happened here? Did someone literally fall onto their face in mud? I don't understand. What happened? I see a really pretty blue. Oh my gosh, what happened to this one? Oh, okay, wait a second. Do people wear the dress to like prom and then return it? Is that allowed? I feel like that's not allowed. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this beautiful blue color. I love this in the front. It feels very early 2000 and then this piece hanging down. There's a few stains on this one near the bottom, almost as if someone was running through a muddy field, but this is really pretty. I also like that we haven't had any repeat dresses. I wanna see this one on. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. I loved it when I was just holding it and now wearing it. This almost reminds me a little bit of like a slip dress or a nightgown, but in an elevated, beautiful way. I'm sorry, I'm keeping this. I'm sorry, we found the first one I'm keeping. It fits me perfectly. I don't have any clips on it. This beautiful fabric, it's so slippery and fun. Also, I probably wouldn't feel right donating this one because it literally has like dirt stains all over the bottom. But for me, I'm like, you know what? I can see past the dirt. I can see past it. Oh my, what is this? I need to see this black and white one. <gasps> OMG. Oh. oh my goodness, that was so dramatic. These are so early 2000s. Oh my gosh, even this tag, Urban Girl Nights. Oh my gosh, someone signed their name on here. Nancy Vescues? Nancy, why is your dress in this return bin? This dress is everything. This is so 90s. It's very, very dirty, but they're right down the one little strip of white fabric. I love this neckline though. Very cute. It reminds me of the dress uh, Isla Fisher wore in Confessions of a Shopaholic when she was being mistaken as a caterer. Do you remember that? Oh my, this is so funny. Okay, I don't know why this kind of gives me like a Renaissance vibe with this. I don't know if I'm being historically accurate thinking that, probably not, but I don't know why it kind of gives me that cut. Renaissance mixed with 90s. It's really, really cute. It's got a bunch of tulle underneath too, so it like pops out. This is everything. I almost feel like this would be cuter if it was a little bit shorter. Maybe this will be one we revamp. This also has a giant stain on the front, but I don't even care because it's really cute and I can tell that it's old. Next we have a maroon purple, a one shoulder moment. This is really pretty. I see no stains or signs of wear on this one. Oh yeah, this is nice. This looks literally brand new. This dress feels very regal. I feel like a tall glass of wine. <laughs> a tall glass of wine. We've got the one shoulder moment, the beautiful maroon silky looking fabric. This is really pretty, honestly. I feel like this is sort of a timeless dress 
and the fabric is very soft and comfortable. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like this one. This feels like a black tie dinner dress. You guys, we're not even through the first bag yet. We got a beautiful blue purple fabric. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, it's got a little bit of poof at the bottom with some tulle under here. The fabric is really eye-catching because it's almost like a blue to purple. Do you see that? It's really quite fun. Again, this one doesn't seem super worn. I have no idea what the fit of this is gonna be. It just kind of looks like a blob. So we'll see, but the neckline is very minimalist. I don't see any rhinestones or jewels on this. Does this have pockets? I feel like any dress with a skirt should have a pocket. This is an interesting length. It's kind of that weird Adora Delano in their season vibe. <laughs> no big deal, but I do think probably this dress belonged to someone who was shorter. It's very simple and minimal. I feel like it lets the fun blue purple fabric speak for itself. It's got the square neckline on the front and the back. Some tulle underneath, black tulle actually. Wow, fun. And it spins nice. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, it's so mesmerizing. I can't stop. Whoa. Oh, you know, when I was a figure skater, I used to spin like crazy and now I spin once and I'm like, whoa. The fabric gives me very 80 vibes though. Not 80 years old, 80s. Last dress in the first bag. We've got this pretty, is this maroon as well? Oh my gosh, there are so many one shoulder dresses. Are people just returning one shoulder dresses? They're like, actually, no, we don't like it. Oh wait, this is two dresses. One dress became two. It's got some lace at the top. This is a pretty classic dress. I feel like I see this a lot. And it's got the belt and it flows into this really pretty flowy fabric on the skirt. I like that. And look it, the next one is like the same color, but we'll put this one on first. This one's quite a bit too big to the point where it's hard to pin, but that's okay. We can definitely still see the look. We've got a slit. We've got this beautiful plummy maroon color. Lace on the top, <laughs> it's not looking exactly right on me. There. Then we have this, and it is super similar to the last one we tried on. Only exception is there is no lace on the top. Oh, and there's like this fun little ruffle and a slit. Okay. This one is so similar to the last one. If you had a two-person bridal party and you loved maroon, these could go together. Just an observation. This is a really, really pretty fabric. This feels expensive. For $16? That's a steal. Look at that drapey fabric. Looks gorgeous. Another one shoulder also. One shoulder is all the rave in this return box. On to the next bag. I am so tempted to fix a few of these up, like the kind of dated ones. Once you're done this video, comment down below which dress was your favorite that we should try and do up a little bit. If that means making it fit me, or adding some jewels, or changing the cut a little, let me know what you think. I love how all the dresses are so different. Like, look at this white. Oh, this is a short dress. Here we have a short dress. It's super sequiny and it goes into a little short skirt. The first short dress. I'm definitely not doing this dress any justice at all. The sequins are so itchy though, I have to say. But let me try and stand and sell this garment. Am I selling it yet? A sequin literally poked under my nail and it was so painful, which makes me kind of angry at this dress. I don't know, I don't feel like this is the most high quality. Not loving this one. This has been like the first one I'm not thrilled on, the quality. Oh my gosh, is this the bag of the short dresses? Cause here we have another one. This is like a my nude type color. And it goes into almost, this feels like cheesecloth. And I only know what cheesecloth is because I've been planning my wedding and I love cheesecloth now. This feels like cheesecloth. When I was getting into this dress, kind of unrelated, but I had this intense, intense want 
to watch Ratatouille, which I don't know if this dress brought that on because it's cheesecloth, which made me think of cheese, which then made me think of Ratatouille. I don't know, but I'm itching to watch Ratatouille right now. Anyways, this is pretty. I mean, it's a very nice slim fit dress. There's not a lot going on on it. It gets a little washed out with my skin tone because it's literally almost the same color as my skin. Like from a distance, people might be like, is she in the nude? And I would be like, no babes, it's a cheesecloth dress. But yeah, I actually think it's pretty. It's very soft. Oh, a burnt orange gown. <gasps> this is so adorable. I love the straight across neckline with this beading here. And then it goes into a full length dress. This is so interesting. I feel like this is sort of a vintage one as well. At first I didn't think I was gonna like this dress too much just because of the hard cut of different fabrics, but I actually really like it. I don't know where you would wear this. I mean, I guess prom. I like the skirt fabric. It's really quite expensive feeling. I just don't know if I love this cut here. I feel like we could make this one nicer. Maybe seamstress Mia needs to come out to play with this one. Oh my gosh. I swear at my grade A grad, this was the look with these flowers on the side and this deep purple. And it's like a shorter dress. Oh my goodness, this brings back so many memories. I swear my friend Rachel wore this, but green. It's cute. It's interesting because like Y2K is like coming back and all these dresses are probably older, but now they're coming back. Kind of fun. Ooh, this is a pleasant surprise. This one fits really well. It's cute. It's almost T length. It's like in between mid and T. Fun floral design in the corner that ruches out. I like this one. I think it's like a fun purple color. Again, this fabric just gives me such an 80s vibe. You can probably tell by how it sounds. I just feel like every dress in the 80s was made out of this. Last dress in the second bag. I like how they organized it. It seemed like the second bag was all like shorter dresses. Here we have another more tubular dress. Is that what it's called? A tube dress? Some of the dresses are starting to look very similar to the last ones. I've been seeing this deep purple a lot. I mean, it's a beautiful color. The length is nice. It's definitely a little oversized for me, but there's not much to say about this puppy. The last thing is looking really full. Ooh, another short dress. Oh, this is cute. How do I describe this? It's got like ruching from the corner. It's this navy metallic. We're seeing this metallic fabric a lot. That was really, really hot. This definitely feels like a blast from the past, but I really like these dresses, they're pretty. I love the ruche. I love the fabric. I think it's fun. This is definitely like the show stopping piece. Also, if you're wondering why I'm looking off to this way and this way, I have mirrors because I'm trying to look at the dress as I judge it. But yeah, I think this is pretty. This is kind of like a cute length. I like the length. Oh my gosh, I almost feel like I have to keep this. This is such a blast from the past. The white bottom with the black sequin top. No, you did not. No, you did not. Yes, yes you did. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this on. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. Don't even try to tell me, okay. If you're my age, don't even try to tell me when you were like 14, someone in your grade wore this to some sort of dance, okay? We are living the same life. I love this. This is iconic. By the way, for anyone wondering, my grade eight formal dress was a orange high-low dress. I was doing it different back then. I'm like blowing through these so fast. Oh, pretty, what is this one? This is a really, really pretty gown. Oh my gosh, look. Someone literally bought it and returned it, I think, because the tag's still on it. $139 this was, and we got it for 16. This is really pretty. I love the almost organza. Is that what this is? The crisscross applesauce we like. Oh my, this dress fits me like a glove. No clips on this. This is a bridesmaid dress, and actually, my wedding colors, this would fit in. Should I do a quick change in the middle of the wedding as an ode to this dress and put this on just for no reason? Do like 20 quick changes into return dresses? Let me know down below. This is really pretty though. I think with strapless, I always like a necklace, but I think this is a really, really luxurious fabric and I love the lavender. This is definitely a win. Wow, and now that I'm sewing, I just can like appreciate sewing like, wow. 
Oh my, what is this? Oh, a head to toe ruched piece with a neckline that goes over your head? I think so. That's very 2000s, I love that. This has my head spinning on what we should do with some of these dresses before we get rid of them. There's definitely lipstick all over this, so that's something. If this dress was like this short, it would feel very the TV show Jersey Shore. I don't know, all these ruffles are just giving me that. I think it's nice. I don't know, it's a lot different than the other dresses we've been trying, so it's kind of fun for that reason. The fabric's nice, it's soft, it's well made. I love this giant ruche down the front. It's interesting. Okay, got another red dress. Okay, these are all short dresses. This one's really, really adorable though. I love the little ruffles at the bottom. And I like the skinny straps. They're very cute. And like this ruching in the front. This is like a classic Valentine's Day dress. Dang it, why didn't I have you sooner? I went skiing on Valentine's Day, so I would not have worn this. Pretty though. I'm breaking a dress on my butt. Oh no. Okay, if you heard me off camera just now, I almost broke this dress with my butt, which is a unique situation for me. Yeah, I was pulling it up like this and it was doing that. But I got it. We're good. And it actually fits really nice. It's a very luxurious, slippery, almost silk fabric. Actually, this makes me want to do this. What is this? Am I salsa right now? Am I salsa badly? Let me know. That's the vibe I get from this. This might have to be a keep as well. I don't know, I just really like it. And it fits nice. This style is definitely back now, which is so crazy. I like it. Two seconds later. You guys, little update. I just broke it getting out of it. That's disappointing. <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. I love this. This is making me feel like I've never had dresses like this. This is so fun. Look at this big flower on the side. This would be pretty if you wore this to like a high tea or something. Let's just start making up situations for the dresses. This is our high tea dress. Love this color, by the way. The fabric's kind of weird. It feels like paper. Oh my. This may be the best fitting dress on me in this video. <gasps> Whoa, I actually really like this. What is this fabric? It's like elasticy, but it looks really elegant and high class. What is this? Does it say? It doesn't say. I strangely really, really like this dress. I feel like with a little shawl, you would look so extra, yet you would be so comfortable and no one would know because this is really comfortable. Oh my. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Eli's wife, literally, does she have, like, does she have this dress? I'm obsessed with this because it brings back so many memories to when I was like in grade six and the grade eight girls would be like wearing these and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cool. It's really comfortable though and it fits well. And I mean, like, I feel like there's a type of person who would just love this dress. Honestly, that type of person's me. I do love it, but I will donate it. Okay, so it ends up the first bag we opened was all of the long dresses and the rest are just short. So here's this blue dress. The blues are just so fun. Does this have pockets? Oh my goodness, it has pockets. We love. I will say though, I am not a big fan of strapless on me personally. I know a lot of people like that, but for me, I just don't like the way it looks. So I probably will be slightly biased on those. This is nice. Yeah, actually. This is probably one of the only strapless dresses I kind of like. I think because it's very straight across. <gasps> right, and I forgot, pa pockets. This style of dress reminds me of the movie Aquamarine. I can't for the life of me even remember if they ever had to wear formal dresses, but I just feel like Aquamarine, the mermaid girl, would have worn this. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen Aquamarine, go watch it. You will not regret it. This is an Aquamarine dress. Ooh! Oh my, look at this! Oh my gosh, when I was younger, these dresses would have blown my mind. Like, I still love them, but if I was like 13 opening this right now, forget it. Forget it. I would be crying and screaming with excitement. And it has pockets! I like that. The back, oh gosh, I didn't zip it up all the way. Hold on. I like the bow in the back. I like this color combination. I think they're all really 
Regal. That's my second time using Regal in this video. I'll stop. I'll stop. I just think this is really nice. Is this the last dress? Oh my goodness, you guys. We flew through it so fast and now we're on the last dress. <gasps> what? Okay, this last dress, I almost wish we wouldn't have ended on it, but it's okay. Here it is. I feel like a magician's like assistant would wear this. It's cute. I mean, I don't love red, so I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's fine. Let's put it on. It's the final dress. Let's just put it on. The last dress. Yes, we tried on 40 dresses, but we're on the last dress. Yes, I'm a dancer. What's up? I stand by what I said. This is a magician outfit. Whenever I see these colors together, I think magician. It's comfy though. It's very silky and soft. Oh, where's my chair? Oh my gosh. I almost just sat right on the ground. Okay. Wow. I just got so tired. I mean, trying on 40 dresses was definitely a little bit tiring, but it was also insanely fun. I can honestly say I am so impressed with this return box. I mean, these dresses were really pretty. A few of them were dirty or damaged a little bit, but not even too bad. I almost feel like not beyond repair. I don't know, maybe that's just me being optimistic. I feel like I could get dirt out of a white fabric. I might be wrong, but like, there was only probably five or six that actually were damaged like that. The rest seemed like brand new. Some brand new from the 90s, but yeah, brand new. And for $16 each? Crazy. I picked out around four dresses that I plan on keeping, but I am so interested to hear if there are any dresses that stood out to you guys that we should try and revamp. I'm trying to work on my sewing skills, so that would be good practice. So let me know down below which one you would like to see us revamp. And also let me know which one was your favorite. I will definitely find a very good charity to donate these to. I'm sure these dresses are gonna make some people very, very happy. And I mean, it was entertaining for us as well. Would you agree? I guess I'm kind of assuming that you had fun. I had fun. I think that is all. I'm going to go take a power nap and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!